Hello and welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel with me, Gemma, and I'm here at the Crumbs and Doily shop in Soho because we have a new bake on the counter today. It is my delicious strawberry shortcake blondie and it is so good. Now we've got loads of new products at the shop at the moment, loads of new things going on the menu, so you've got to make sure you get down to the shop to check out what we have. But obviously, I have to show you how to make this amazing piece of deliciousness. So I'm gonna grab myself a little bit of it and head back to the studio to show you guys how to make it. Hey there, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do before you do anything else with this bake is roast some strawberries. Now you can make this with just fresh strawberries, but strawberries have so much moisture in it and roasting them helps to draw some of that moisture out and you get left with this like delicious, really, really intensely strawberry strawberry and separate to that, you get this like delicious syrup stuff, which I really love to add to like drinks and sodas and drizzle on my ice cream. So it's a bit of a win-win for everyone really. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is hull and slice some of these strawberries. These are, I've just washed them. Make sure you always wash your strawberries. Please just don't chop the entirety of the top off. That's such a waste of strawberries. All that good stuff is still in the, in the top. So I'm gonna just get a really small paring knife and just literally, take the middle bit out and that's it. I don't want to waste any strawberry. And because this one's quite a big guy, I'm going to actually quarter him. So you want to keep doing that with all your strawberries, halving them or quartering them, depending on how big they are, and just pop them into a bowl. So I have 400 grams of strawberries here, and then this is 15 grams of caster sugar. I'm just going to toss this all around. And then I've got a little roasting tin here and I'm just going to spread them all out across the bottom. You can already see it's starting to sort of macerate and pull, the sugar's pulling all those juices out. And I will say, do use a small-ish roasting tin rather than like a really big one because all the liquid's gonna really get pulled out of these. And if it's too big a surface area, it's just gonna evaporate and you wanna keep it. You wanna keep it all juicy and syrupy and delicious. Anyway, this is gonna be put in the oven. I've already got it preheated to 150 degrees C in my fan assisted oven. And it's gonna take 40 whole minutes. Bye little guys. I miss you already. So my strawberries are out of the oven and they've completely cooled down and the first thing to do with them is to strain them because while the liquid is absolutely delicious and you absolutely must not discard it, use it for stuff because it's so yummy, you don't want to have it all in your strawberries otherwise this blondie is going to be so wet. So I've put it through a sieve but I haven't like zhuzhed it about too much because I want to keep these strawberries kind of intact when I put them in. So that's just happily sitting there, getting all of its lovely liquid strawberry yumminess so that we can all have a little team strawberry lemonades after filming. Guys, what do you reckon? Yeah! <laughs> Um, so let's make this blondie. So as usual, we're starting with some brown sugar. I've got 335 grams of light, soft brown sugar. Put that into a nice big bowl, along with your burnt butter. Now I've already burnt my butter. I started off with 150 grams of butter and then cooked it in a saucepan over a medium heat, just stirring every now and then. And after a few minutes, you should start to see the liquid start to turn a kind of nice golden color and there'll be little brown flecks, at which point just turn it off and you'll end up with this amazing liquid gold basically we add it to so many things here at the bakery um, and it just adds this like extra buttery nutty intense buttery goodness i don't even know how to describe it but you end up with 130 grams so if you're one of those people that likes to get prepared get a load of burnt butter done and dusted so that you're ready then you're going to need 130 grams and it needs to be liquid but not hot okay so just put that into your bowl along with the sugar Make sure you get all of those lovely brown bits as well. That's where the flavor is. And then just using a whisk, stir that together. And we're gonna be kind of brief here. We're not trying to add any air or, you know, dissolve the sugar, really. Just wanna sort of combine the ingredients. That's it, really. Next, you're gonna add three eggs, one at a time, and then add one teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract. 
And then again with your whisk, just stir that until it's combined. Don't worry about whipping it up or anything, just make sure it's all really well incorporated. So this is lovely and smooth, but now we're gonna ditch our trusty whisk in favor of a rubber spatula. Actually, one of my most favorite utensils in the entire kitchen. Right, what are we doing? We need a sieve, guys. So pop a sieve over the top and you're going to add 270 grams of plain flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt just to bring out all of the lovely flavors. And then just shuffle that through. And then using your rubber spatula, you wanna fold that all through, just gently. I mean, we haven't put a lot of air into this mixture, so it's not a question of not knocking the air out. I just think at this point you wanna be gentle and you don't really need to whisk it. Then when almost all the flour is mixed in, but you can still see a few little pockets everywhere, you wanna add your addition. So I've got 150 grams of good quality white chocolate chips. I've got 100 grams of pie crumb, more on that later. And then just to boost the strawberry flavor even more, I've got 10 grams of freeze dried strawberries. You can get this at some supermarkets, but you can also get it online. And then just using your rubber spatula, fold that all together really gently. Right, that's all nice and evenly distributed throughout the batter. So now we can put it into our tin. I've got an eight inch tin, which I've actually greased and lined in advance because I'm so prepared. In fact, you should just always do that at the beginning. <laughs> Otherwise you're like, oh, I haven't done the tin, which happens to me quite a lot. Um, anyway, we're not gonna put it all in. We're gonna put half of it in because this is going to have a delightful filling of roasted strawberries, of course. So plop half or thereabouts of your batter into your tin and then just with a palette knife just level it off. Nice. Now it's time for the strawberries. Oh my goodness, they smell so, so good. And I'm going to just pick them up. I do feel and they kind of look a little bit weird. <laughs> not gonna lie, <laughs> but they taste amazing. And when they're baked in the middle of this blondie, they're gonna add a little sort of jammy layer. So you just wanna cover the top. I mean, don't, don't go slapdash with it. Try and be neat and tidy if you can. Right, so I've got a nice layer of yummy roasted strawberries there. Now, because they're really kind of slidey, and this batter is quite stiff. What I don't want to do is dump the rest of it into the middle and then spread it out because what's going to happen is the strawberries are going to go Bleh! all out to the sides. We don't want that. So I'm going to kind of drop little nuggets of it all over the top to try and do some of the work for myself in advance. So when you've teased all the batter over the top of the strawberries nice and gently and you have a nice even layer, it's almost ready, but I kind of wanted everybody to know what they were dealing with when they saw this blondie in the shop. So I, know I wanted to, them to know what they were gonna get. So I wanted to put some strawberries and pie crumb on the top as well so that they just know. So I have some strawberries here, nice big chunky ones this time, and I'm going to um, slice them into thin slices and pop them all over the top. Oh, it's looking really good and it smells, my hands smell amazing and also I've got some little nibbles here that I can enjoy while this thing's cooking. But we haven't finished yet because we've got the rest of the pie crumb. So the pie crumb I just made in the usual way, you've probably seen me make it a million times, it's one of my favourite things of all time to make. All you need to do is grab a bowl and put 110 grams of plain flour, a pinch of salt, 20 grams of caster sugar, 60 grams of melted butter, and a teaspoon of cold water. And then just using a small spoon or a rubber spatula, just give that a mix through until it all comes together. You wanna rub and shuffle the nuggets through your fingertips, breaking up any big ones, smushing any small ones together. Keep doing this for a few minutes, kind of gathering them up and letting them fall through your fingers and eventually you will have loads of lovely round little nuggets of various sizes ranging from, I don't know, like a sesame seed to a hazelnut. Then scatter them onto a baking sheet lined with greaseproof paper and then bake those at 170 degrees C for 10 to 12 minutes until they're just turning slightly golden. And then just scatter all of these all over the top of your blondie. Right, this just now needs to be baked at 170 degrees C in a fan assisted oven. If you don't have one of those, just add 20 degrees. Um, 
And it needs to go in there for quite a long time, actually. It's about 50 to 55 minutes. So you want to check with a skewer. And it should have risen up at the, at the corners slightly. But the middle should still be a little bit wobbly, but not like liquid. Um, it's quite difficult to tell, of course, with the strawberries. But just poke in a couple of different places. And when a skewer comes out with a little bit of batter on still, we're good to go. Look at that little fudgy number. It has got the fudgy blondie all about. We've got this lovely little channel of roasted strawberries in the middle. Pie crumb. Oh, I can't actually wait to eat this, so it's all falling off the top, so I'm just going to go for it. Mmm. Yum. That's so strawberry. I think because of the freeze dried strawberries, it's really boosting the strawberry flavour. And we've getting a little buttery, nuggety, crumbly pie crumbs every now and then. Sharp, sort of tangy strawberry flavour in the middle. It's a bit like jam, which I kind of, I guess it kind of is jam, um, sort of. Mm. This is so, so good. So make sure you head over to the shop because this is going to be on the counter all week. And, you know, it'll pop up whenever we can do it because this is one really great way of using our lovely British strawberries while they're in season, my favourite. And if you make this, please do tag us using hashtag Cupcake Gemma. We absolutely love hanging out with you uh, over on Instagram and seeing how you get on and connecting with you like that. I'll be back next week. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> so you'll get a notification. If you click on the little bell, that means whenever we upload a recipe, you'll get first dibs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy making this. I hope you... I'm um, just uh, bathing in strawberries right now and wondering what to do with them and now I've given you the answer, so I look forward to seeing your bakes on Instagram. <laughs> See you later.